Welcome to Whaler Talk, hosted by the Hartford Whalers Booster Club. I'm Jerry Irwin, Peter Hindle from TheExaminer.com. And we, tonight we have uh, special guest Howard Baldwin uh, with us. Uh, it's, it's an honor to have you, as always. It's great to sit down with an old friend and, and talk Whaler hockey. Mm -hmm. um, to start the show, uh, you had a great run with uh, marketing the Connecticut Whale. Um, what happened? What happened? Well, right? we were going to need a couple of hours on that one. <laughs> But, but plain and simple, um, the, the negotiations that we went through uh, in 2010 went on too long. And here's where the responsibility is mine, because we signed a lease that was incredibly onerous two weeks prior to opening day. Mm -hmm. But we felt that if we didn't do that, hard food would have lost hockey. Mm -hmm. People will deny that, but I'm telling you, I feel they would have lost hockey. So we took the leap of faith and, and uh, it put us behind the eight ball. Okay. As it is, we had a good year that year. A lot of people, for example, thought the Winterfest was not a success. It was a great success. My, my son and the staff did an amazing job with mm -hmm. that. But we took, a lot of that money had to get used to keep the team sure. going. We were always running behind because mm -hmm. of the delay in, in um, taking over the team. Usually when you take over a team or you're going to get a new team, you like to do it January, February. Mm -hmm. That's when we thought we were going to get it. Yep. We didn't get it. I think we announced it September 21. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. So, so it, was, it was really it was really behind the eight ball. Um, uh, but as it is, a lot of things worked well. So Well, it was, it was important I'm, uh, from, from my aspect and my personal opinion, when you went to that opening night where the rebranding, the uniforms yep. were there, the brass bands, you had 13,000 people mm -hmm. there. And we'll get into that a little later with the statistics. Sure. Uh, absolutely phenomenal. Uh, there, does the sign that sticks out in my mind is the guy who said he waited 13 <coughs> years to hear the brass bands yeah, again. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And those are um, our, our people. Uh, right. The people that are looking forward to that, uh, the bring them back, bringing back the Whalers, the NHL to Hartford to mm -hmm. rekindle that, that, that charge in Hartford. Mm -hmm. um, I was there for the Whale Bowl. Mm -hmm. You were there. Absolutely. We froze our keisters no off. No question. Um, <laughs> uh, when Dennis House was on, we, we said how good he looked in his skybox uh, up yeah, there. Yeah, he, uh, <laughs> he was nice and warm. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, yeah and, and, you know, with, looking back, uh, when AEG was running the team in 2007, um, the average attention, att attendance was about 4,200 per, per game on average. Now, um, now you come in and rebrand the team, and then uh, we get these crowds. So we have the 21,000, and we have the 13,000, mm -hmm. 11,000, 10, several 9,000. I mean, for the top 10 uh, crowds you have, uh, we're all 8,000 and up. Uh, and that's double of what AEG was doing in 2007. So I think that um, we, we all realize this, that they kept the, the brand. They kept the brand, they kept the brass bonanza because they finally got it, you know. Yeah, at least. I mean, it's like, show us the way and then we'll, you know, bring yes. it out of the oven. Yeah. But they're going to learn, mm -hmm. and I'm not going to criticize anybody mm -hmm. um, uh, on the show today. I'm just going to tell you what I think. Mm -hmm. But people will learn that, that the brand is always linked with something. Right. And... Uh, and there's a passion there mm -hmm. that, that makes a brand work. And right. without the passion, the brand won't work. Right. I mean, we, we've, we've, over the last couple of months, have taken a lot of criticism. Mm -hmm. It's amazing how you can come in here with a white hat <laughs> and, then, and then, you know, having put and invested our partnership, having invested so much money mm -hmm. into the city mm -hmm. and into the state, and then when it doesn't work, Right. People scratch their heads and say, well, it's all Howard's fault. Right. Okay, fine, I'm a big boy. What are they going to do to me? Anyway, right. beat me up? I don't think so. <laughs> right. So you, you analyze it and say, please, do your homework. For the good of the city and the good of the state, do your homework. Mm -hmm. And why didn't it work? Why, for example, in the middle of the second season, do we always all of a sudden have the highest amusement tax mm -hmm. in North America? Yeah. Why do we have the highest lease? Mm -hmm. Why didn't the football work? Right. at Rensselaer Field. Same Good problem. people that did that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And analyze why isn't something working here? Right. Why aren't people coming and doing more of what we did 
which is to try to invest their money into entertainment properties yeah. and do something for downtown Hartford and for the joy of the city and the state. Right. If the problem is me, that's easy. Mm -hmm. We'll go back to Los Angeles and we won't suffer. Right. Mm -hmm. But the fact of the matter is I think you'll find something different. Right. And, and, it, and it just shows you from, uh, I'll just take it real simply, mm -hmm. the last 67 games under the Wolfpack are in 4,200, as I said. You, same 67 games, but under the whale and under your management, we're at 5,400. So, I mean, in a very short time, we're already up 1,200 you know, people coming into the arena. I mean, it, it doesn't take much to, to understand. Um, and you've done this in a very short time. <laughs> And it was improving. We we were seeing progress. We were, we were you know, the team, it was excitement. Now, I just want to say one more yeah. quick thing was, you, you had the TV and the radio. I mean, that was fantastic. I mean, you could watch the game and you could hear. Right. They told us, AEG said we were going to market the heck out of the team, but I don't hear anything about a radio deal. I don't hear anything about a TV deal. I mean, I, I feel like, it feels like there's a regression in Hartford hockey already, and that makes me a little nervous. Well, it, yeah, and, and again, I can't speak to anything they're doing because right. I have no idea. No, mm -hmm. no, I know that. Um, yeah. But the fact of the matter is what we would have done. It's interesting, going yeah. back to your point on revenue growth. Mm -hmm. They take, they took the team back in June, eh? Mm -hmm. Was it yeah. around June? Middle, middle of June. Yeah. And two weeks later at the American Hockey League meetings, we get the award for yeah. most improved revenues. Right. Okay. But anyway... Whatever they're doing um, is up to them right. mm -hmm. to do it. Right. Uh, but we were on a path, I think, of progression mm -hmm. forward. And mm -hmm. I'm not going to kid you, the second year we didn't, it was very hard. I mean, one of the things we've been criticized for and I feel badly about is mm -hmm. the fact that financially we were up against it the second year. Right. Mm -hmm. But you can't recapitalize a company mm -hmm. unless you know you're going to be here for three to five years right. and what where I am deeply disappointed in the powers to be mm -hmm. is that we couldn't get a lease extension for right. the life of me I don't understand that. right it was right. in everybody's best interest right you know I, I feel AEGs right. the city the state because we we're making right. it work yeah. and as I continually said to people if we get that mm -hmm we then can recapitalize and we'll be fine. Mm -hmm. because right. the, the issue isn't us not having money, the issue is putting it into a wise right. investment. And, and you mentioned the city and state, um, and, and I, I bring up the, the proposal you had to rejuvenate the XL. What in general was your response from Sagara and, and Governor Malloy and Mayor Sagara? Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, the, the response was um, apathy. Okay. I mean, it was like everybody was excited that day and that was that, mm -hmm. yeah. and and it was that was really disappointing mm. because it didn't have to be our idea. Mm -hmm. At least it was an idea we put forward with our money mm -hmm. and with great appreciation to the Aetna, who funded part of that yeah. presentation. Mm -hmm. We sure appreciate that, and we thought we put some some thinking out there sure. that would get people to talk. If it wasn't going to be the the sports bar on Trumbull Street something else sure. mm -hmm. but not the way it is now which, right. which looks like an empty warehouse yeah. around the arena yeah and that's exactly what it looks like we came out of the XL Center the other night from uh, the booster club meeting and, and there was a drunk guy following us around <laughs> yeah. and you know he, he was pestering everybody and you know that's not the quality of life that they want outside the XL right. Center right and you know we had to call the cops to get him squared away <laughs> um, but you know when when you look at the brand the fans, the believe, and, and really that's what I see. You talked about the passion, and I see the believe. You said it. You lead, you lead the people to the product, and, and that's what you did for two years. You did a very good job getting the people in the building. Now these people are lost, for lack of a better term. Yeah. They're sitting out there wondering what's going to happen next. Mm -hmm. You know, We've heard that you know, they're going to market the XL Center is going to market, AEG is going to market hockey like never before. Mm -hmm. Why are you going to start now? Because right. Howard and W Created Whaler Sports and Entertainment started the ball rolling in the right direction. Right. I hope not. I hope uh, that hockey is here for a while, and I, I hope that um, you have something in, in the future. Right. Uh, is there anything that you're thinking about doing in the future um, well, in regards to Hart Hartford hockey? Sure. I mean, this year we keep... 
we, we see what's going to happen. This mm -hmm. is a critical year for the future of hockey. Right. Mm -hmm. and, and, um, and I want it to succeed. Would we like to be a part of it? Of course we would. Mm -hmm. But we want it to succeed. If it does well, if they can make it work, mm -hmm. great, we'll buy season tickets. Mm -hmm. But we want it to succeed because it's right for the city and it's right for the state. Right. Um, I wish that they had given us a lease that they gave themselves before mm -hmm. we took it over. Right. But for whatever reason, they didn't. Mm -hmm. And this is where I accept responsibility because I signed a lease that was really onerous. Mm -hmm. But I felt I, I went right. into that with you before. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. But for us, for Karen and I and my son, Howard Jr., mm -hmm. we, we'd like to continue to be part of the landscape. Right. Um, at the very least, we don't want to be carrying around this sort of black hat um, Darth Vader, mm. right? You know, because it's grossly unfair, right? Uh, because, because, and I'm not saying we did everything right. <clears throat> no, sure. It, mistakes are always made when you take mm -hmm. risk and you're trying to do something, but but um, everybody needs to look at themselves in the mirror and say. What could we have done to have sure. helped them more? Right. And, and really, like Mark uh, Wallan said when he was on our show, uh, we have a fragmented fan base, and, and that didn't help at all. Right. But what it, it obviously shows with the statistics is the fragmented fan base started to become one again, yeah. uh, which is a, it's all about the green. Yeah. And really, yeah. that's what it well, is. I'm going to tell you a great story. Um, we are filming a movie. In fact, we finished tonight. We're filming a movie in Winnipeg, Manitoba. Great. Great. So we're, we're up there a lot and we're, we're, we talk to a lot of people there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. To a person, they have said, since the NHL come, has come back, the whole city is different. The businesses have grown and, and are surging. Mm -hmm. But more importantly, the morale of that city mm -hmm. right. is so dramatically improved. Mm -hmm. And if anybody would make an effort, whether they're in the media, the city, or the state, to reach out and say, gee, how did you do it, and, and how has it worked, mm -hmm. they'd get some amazing answers. Right. But it takes effort, right. and it takes lack of inertia, or whatever that expression is, <laughs> right, right, yeah. to get off our you-know-whats yeah. and, and make it happen. And work. <clears throat> Absolutely. It. And I not mean, just think that that we are entitled to something without the effort. Right, exactly. You can dream all you want, but if you don't do anything, you're not going right. to get there. That's I mean, right, Mayor Terry. Perez. Mayor Perez went out to Minnesota to see how the Wild did business. You remember yeah, that? He tried. Yeah. yeah. Well, now we need someone else to do right, that. Right. And, Whether and, that's the governor. <laughs> right. Governor, didn't he go to China? Yeah, uh, yeah. You might yeah. want to go to, <laughs> how about Winnipeg? We'll try right, Winnipeg. Yeah, yeah. It's a shorter yeah. trip. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And, and speaking of people who are, are sitting down and not getting up, um, you know, the media has been pretty critical and, and you know, in a lot of ways, I, I was, these guys I've read my whole life. Um, you know, I don't know them, but to see what Scott Gray said, I just felt like you have no idea what's going on here. I mean, he was talking about bringing back the Wolfpack logo. I mean, and I just thought, that, but did you not see before yeah. your own eye? I know he was at games because I saw him there. Um, so, I, you know, I just, I just didn't understand it. And uh, I didn't know if you had addressed him or spoken to him. I met with Scott, and I told him how deeply, and Jeff, mm -hmm. deeply disappointed I was that they wouldn't make more of an effort to do more homework. Right. For example, there's a perception that, that, that I was mostly in L.A. the last two years. Well, I was the only one that actually moved, but Karen and I actually yeah. moved back here. We were in the office every day. We hadn't been to L.A. for two and a half years yeah. during this process. Yeah. I went to more speaking <laughs> engagements in two and a half years over this um, um, effort mm -hmm. than I did in the 17 years I had the Whalers in the 70s wow. and 80s. Wow. I mean, wow. I, I went to a ton of them. Well, I, I, that was verified to us, too, with, with uh, Mark Milan. He said, Howard didn't take one day off. And nothing. So Scott know? is out of line yeah. with that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And and it's too bad he didn't reach out to me. Yeah. And in and, and my opinion, Jeff was out of line. I have no problem saying right. it to anybody, mm -hmm. pulling right. him to his face. Mm -hmm. And I really like and respect Jeff. Yeah. And I really like and respect Scott. Yeah. But for whatever reason, it was almost as if I said to Jeff when I talked to him, I said, you sound angry. Mm -hmm. you know, he says, I'm not angry. I'm just disappointed. And I said, I don't blame you. Yeah. But, you know, you've got to look at try to have something constructive come out of this yeah. so we can learn right. and make it better the next time. Yeah. Because mm -hmm. you don't give up. Mm -hmm. Took us three years to do the merger. Yep. Yeah. Three Absolutely. years and four tries. Yep. Wow. Absolutely. Wow. 
and you know it's 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 unfortunate we have a very small community in Hartford right. and and the suburbs uh, and you know to have these guys who I've read also for a long time and listen to Scott Gray every morning to, to say something like that with someone who's been in our neighborhood for so long uh, you know, I, I, I think you, you deserve much better than that. Well, and, and, not, and, and, and not give us the chance to go on the air with them. Correct. Yeah. Like you guys right. are doing. Right. right. And Rich Coppola. Rich Coppola did a, a piece also with you, and it was, in my opinion, and not that I'm a news guy, it was a very poor interview. And mm -hmm. it was, uh, I think, a shoddy, shoddy interview, and they put it together last minute, and, uh, and I think it was, a. Uh, it was wrong. There's some editing things yes. in there, too. There was well, <laughs> there, of <laughs> course there were, but you know what? Yeah. The world is round, and there's a way of coming back. Absolutely. Right. You just, you just, if you believe in something, you stay with it. Right. And, and um, ultimately, <clears throat> most of the time, if it's right and good mm -hmm. and pure, which this is, you'll have the last laugh. Absolutely. Yeah. And, we, and we, like I said, we've, we've talked about the past, so let's talk about what's going on now. I mean, sure. Uh, you know, I enjoyed... Um, I can't tell you how much I enjoyed Whaler Fan Fest. Is there anything like that and maybe in the summer or in the future? Are you thinking about that again? Because you had such a great response from the players, I thought, uh, and the fact that they stayed longer to, to uh, do autographs and talk to the fans. Right. I mean, I, that Kevin Deneen line was long, but it was yeah. worth every minute. Uh, I just didn't know if there was anything like that in your, in your future because that was, that was like very successful. And, uh, We're formulating a whole bunch of plans now. We do not plan to... Mm -hmm. You know, go away. I'm yeah. going to be very, very clear on that. Mm -hmm. You know, we have, you know, Karen and I have other responsibilities, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. but we still believe in this and we still intend to see mm -hmm. this through. Right. And, and that that's, so there are a lot of plans being formulated right. and as this year unfolds, you'll hear about them, right. but you'll be pleased. The yeah. Summer Fest is a great idea. Yeah. Frankly, the Winter Fest is a, it was. Is a great yeah, idea. It really was. Too. It was a lot of fun. And we want to do it because frankly, for us, we, we want to, you know, clean things up financially for a lot of people that mm -hmm. did get hurt. Mm -hmm. and, and that's not the way I want our legacy to be here. Right. So people right. are patient. I think people will be pleased. Good. And, and when will we see this movie? When will this movie yeah, like, actually this be absolutely. to the public? Uh -huh. uh, can we um, buy tickets now? <laughs> <laughs> We're talking about actually doing a special event for Hartford in January, February. Wow, excellent. Wow, that'd be great. Um, but the movie is, it wraps at midnight tonight or. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, my Karen has been doing the heavy lifting on that, but um, it looks great. Mm -hmm. And it's the one year when Gordy comes out of retirement and plays with the two boys. Oh, nice. Oh, wow. Yeah, and, and um, Whalers are in it. Excellent. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> and it's a real feel good, story Excellent. and we want to do a full-blown premiere here sure at some point but yeah, it has sure. to air in Canada on uh, CBC mm -hmm. it's their big movie of the year January 1 at 8 o'clock oh wow. excellent and then we can we'll be doing a lot of things limited theatrical release it's gonna have a major television release and Excellent. Wow. it's a real nice movie great how yeah. is uh, how's Gordy and, and Marty and, and Mark uh, have they been in, involved in this? They've been involved. They've been terrific. Oh, excellent. Um, I really am excited for the three of them. Excellent. And for for Colleen up yep. there. Oh, yeah. Yep. Everyone's little angel. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. That's wonderful. It's going to be a, a good family event. It, it is. It'll yep. be good for hockey. Excellent. So now, where do you go from here? We had the Fan Fest. I remember, I remember going there. It was absolutely amazing. Five, and someone asked me the other day, what did you think of the Fan Fest? And I said, Okay, we're at a football stadium. <laughs> it's in the middle of summer. It was hot. Yeah. There was Whalers banners from the Civic Center, the XL Center in there. And 5,000 people show up for a hockey team that doesn't exist. Right. And I think, you know, that, that along with the rebranding and what you've done in over the last two years is, is pivotal to see what, we, what can be done in the future. Mm -hmm. your, your followers, and I think that's the best way to put it, are waiting. Uh, it, it's time for... Um, Hartford, the state, to realize we are a major league market and it's mm -hmm. time to get back in it. When you had 5,000 people sitting there, like you said, when Kevin Deneen had that line that wrapped around, yeah. Joel Quenville's there. Yeah. I mean, it, you know, come on. These are the guys that you sat there every night. Sure. 7.35 face-off. You're yeah. sitting there listening to Chuck Gaten on the radio. Mm -hmm. I, I still have cassette tapes at home when I was supposed to be doing my homework. And <laughs> I, uh, I recorded Chuck doing the games. It was unbelievable. And Andre Lacroix. Yeah. You know? Yeah. It brings back great memories. And... Uh, so I think, you know, hopefully one day we can get 
our team back. Yeah. Um, how is the governor uh, with the NHL? Uh, I know there was some speculation early on, uh, you know, when they were opening up uh, the studio down in Stanford, uh, that he wasn't really bought into the NHL. This is a speculation I've heard that, you know, he, he's like, I think we're all set for right now. Um, has, it, has he changed his, his opinion of having the NHL back? Um, I can't honestly tell you that because oh, okay. I don't have mm -hmm. contact with him. Okay. Um, but I can assure you of this because I think I know plenty about the NHL. Mm -hmm. As you guys know, right mm -hmm. now they're in a work stoppage. Mm -hmm. um, this, this is a tougher one than I thought it would be. Mm. Um, uh, I do believe there will be opportunities in the future. I've been saying that since we've come back here. Mm -hmm that if you get your own house in order mm -hmm. and you become a solution to a problem for the commissioner, mm -hmm. I mean, everybody thought Phoenix was going to go to Winnipeg and all of a sudden Atlanta mm -hmm. yeah. yep. goes to Winnipeg because Atlanta had a problem, whatever it was, mm -hmm. and then there in the darkness of... <laughs> yeah, <laughs> another probably, darkness of... Probably, the probably, probably forever this time. They yeah. go over to well, Winnipeg yeah, and yeah. the good folks in Atlanta wake up and... But there it is. Right. Mm -hmm. And so, and look... The reason we got in the NHL in 1979 was because it wasn't because the owners were sitting around in the NHL saying, we got to have Hartford, Connecticut, or we got to have Winnipeg. Or We were a, the merger or the expansion, as we're meant to call it, mm -hmm. was a solution to a problem. Mm -hmm. And that's what we have to be again. We got to be a solution to a problem. There's no real identifiable city right now mm. that one could look at and say, you got to have. You know, because they're in 30 cities. So right. you become, what can you do to position yourself best of all? Right. And that's really a great, great segue to what if our officials uh, don't want to repair the XL Center? Where do we go from there? We have to build a new arena. And, yeah. you know, has anyone thought of that? And is yeah. there anything on the radar out there? Yeah. You know, are, are they going to do it? I mean, there was an article in the August 15th paper of the East Hartford Gazette about building an arena at Rensselaer Field. Is that, you know, I don't know if you've heard anything. I've been, you know, that was the only thing I heard yeah, August yeah, 15th yeah, and yeah, then yeah. Psst, right off the edge yeah. and it's gone. Is that uh, a good idea? Is that a bad idea, uh, building an well, arena? Number in one Hartford? idea yeah. is, is if you want it for Hartford, it's got to be in Hartford. You'll never get a better location for yeah, an arena yeah. mm -hmm. than where it's at now. Right. But if the decision is for whatever reason to build a new one somewhere else, <clears throat> There's a few areas you got to look at. One, mm -hmm. of course, is East Hartford. The other is more towards New Haven. Mm -hmm. Right. So you can draw up from Fairfield County. Sure. Right. But but I think when you have an asset like you have, if you talk to people in the, in professional sports and in professional hockey, all of a sudden now they're telling you, um, gee, maybe you don't need a new arena. Mm -hmm. There's a great. There's two guys you ought to have on this show. Okay, and I'll get them for you okay. because they will give you an objective. It's Bob Caparell. You may remember him. Mm -hmm. He was our lawyer for 25 years and okay. one of my closest friends. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then Randy Vitaha. Mm -hmm. Randy was, remember, former football yeah. player yep. in the NFL, little guy, mm -hmm. really smart. Mm -hmm. And they have their own, what I call, boutique investment banking company. They've done probably more major sports deals than anybody you. They did the Dodgers. They did the Oakland, uh, what do you wow. call them, the NBA team. Yep. Yeah. They yep. just did the St. Louis Blues. They worked with they worked with me here. They worked with me in Pittsburgh. Mm. They are really, really good. And and we'll have to get have them on the we'll show yeah. because they will give you a great broad objective view mm -hmm. no, we'll of have Hartford to do versus Seattle versus New Arena versus Old Perfect. Arena. Mm -hmm. yeah. They really Perfect. will. Well, and that's that's good because yeah. you know you hear Seattle and you're like, really Seattle? Mm. Come on, but. Yeah. Seattle could be a good market. Right. They got to build an arena, though. I mean, they don't well, they have yeah. their their arena situation is yeah, it's like know, ours. It's like ours. Yeah, it is because yeah. they lost um, the Supersonics, yeah. and that's the arena they used. Right. You, but you'll hear problems with all of, you identify them with Las Vegas. Mm -hmm. with baseball spent a couple of million bucks looking at Vegas, mm -hmm. and they rejected it because yeah. I mean we've been there plenty of times. Right. But Las Vegas, when you get into the suburbs, is desert and the Hoover Dam. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> and, and so it's not a right. sophisticated cable market. No. There's no corporate base. So Vegas is very shaky. Yeah. You hear Kansas true. City. Maybe, maybe not. Yeah. 
Quebec, I think Quebec is fantastic. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Cannot argue with no, this. Right. Not at all. Right. Now, when you get into TV revenue, not to cut you off, but we have a few minutes left. Sure. Um, when you get into uh, TV revenue, now now we have some, some people that are going to be bidding for the, the XL Center. Right. Uh, that uh, allegedly is up um, August or of June. this year. It's June. June. Is it June? I think it's June. Okay. June. Um, yeah. And, you know, who are going to be the players when it comes in? The Bushnell, I've heard. Uh, AUG, obviously. Yeah. Uh, anyone else that comes to sure. mind? Uh, what, what have you heard? There, there's really only three companies. Okay. Okay? And the, you mentioned the Bushnell. They're not one of the three, but that doesn't mean they wouldn't be good. Okay. Mm-hmm. Okay? Mm-hmm. It's just that the Bushnell are local, mm-hmm. and they don't have arenas outside of Hartford. Right. Okay. But they're good people. Mm-hmm. I like them. They're local. They're passionate. Mm-hmm. AEG is a wonderful company, and they're all over the world. Mm-hmm. SMG, Spectacore Management Group, okay. mm-hmm. is prohibited from bidding because they're in Providence. Now, if that's changed okay. the last couple of years, I don't know about it. Oh, really? Okay. And then you have Global Comcast, which is a wonderful company. Comcast, uh, the cable company. Yeah, and right. they're owned, um, they're, they're <laughs> owned um, oh boy, prime, well, Really, primarily by Comcast, and then right. a big chunk by Ed Snyder, who okay. owns the right. okay. Flyers. And, 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 and that'd be a heck of a TV market. Well, sure. 80%. I, well, that's what I mean. They have 80% of the TVs in Connecticut, yeah. so I mean, that yeah. would be There's great. Your hockey. There's your hockey right there. Yeah, yeah. But w- what, what you, you need to really emphasize when you're on the show or whatever mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. is what has to be decided is a philosophical thing. How do you want that building to be run? Do you want that building to be run as a profit center for an arena management company? Or do you want the mandate to be run that building as a profit center for the city? Gotcha. So when in doubt, bring the event in. And we're not going to hold your feet to the fire. Bring the event in. Yeah, but absolutely. if you're going to have a company that's just worried about the EBITDA, mm-hmm. um, you know, the 70s and 80s it did great because mm-hmm. it was run by the city. Well, and the other thing is, you know, now we have a bigger issue, and that's Mohegan and Foxwoods is is taking a lot of shows down there. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, and that's where we have to have a powerful mm-hmm. company up here right. to bring in a host of shows as right. well as a major league market. Right. And how and how would, like, the fans out there that that want to persuade the governor or this way or that way or the mayor this way, should, should they write to politicians? I mean, they wanted to help, uh, you know, keep Hartford growing the way it has been, the way you started. I mean... How, how would do you think writing to the to the governor and mayor would be helpful? Or yeah, anything you do yeah. to express the way you feel is yeah. a good thing. Yeah, no matter what it is. Yeah, I mean because the constituency are the people. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. Really, every politician is an employee of the people. Absolutely, and then you go on the Department of Administrative uh, Services on the Connecticut. Uh, website, you can see those bids because that bid for proposal has to go out. The RFPs okay. have to go out That's important on, ahead of ahead of uh, the actual bid date. Yeah, so, you would know that. so we're going to wrap up uh, this uh, this session of Whaler Talk, uh, hosted by the Hartford Whalers Booster Club. Thank you so much for coming yes. on. Thank we'll you very definitely much, have you on again, and we'll ke- we'll check you next time on Whaler Talk. Thanks a lot for having me. No you problem. You guys are great. This is. Uh,